What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are playing some RimWorld. This is the Ice Sheet playthrough, and our first bunch of rice is set to come in here. Not that we really have a good way to cook anything up, but we are letting our wood and our meals deteriorate. This kibble will be gone any second. I did remove a bunch of mods. I wonder if we can see a mod list. Now without going back to the main menu or the loading screen. Well, maybe I'll show you that at some point here. But either way, let's see, it'd probably be obvious from here. I took out all the vanilla expanded stuff that added additional... Let's speed this up. That added additional clothing because it seemed like it might be a little too easy if we could load up with gear. So what were we working on researching? microelectronics because we'd like to be able to trade with people now that said we don't have anything to yeah it's still really cold that we don't have anything to trade so it doesn't much matter but I don't think we can make it out here man so at the warmest part of the day which is about 3 p.m. in real life we're at 162 negative 162 Fahrenheit that is extremely problematic. I don't know that we can really do anything. This person is frozen like a freaking rock. And what else do we have? That's it. The ice sheet's pretty much empty. Could really use that steel. Oh, look at that. We got our first... Ah, uh, she botched it. Well, we got our first harvest. So with that, we get three meals. She's eating. Oh shit. It occurs to me. Pick it up. <laughs> Come inside. I don't know. We should probably leave this rice inside, right? I guess we don't want it spoiling. Disallow the door. There you go. She ate with a table, even. Okay, there you go. So, we pretty much stuck. Look, it's negative 170 out now. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's bad. Bad, 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 bad. I wonder... I don't think you can build a fire in a doorway. That'd be too damn useful. Yeah, so when the shit goes down, meaning the solar flare, assuming it does, but they always do. We were eating this chocolate, actually, but... And now she's got a ton of meals in her pocket. We'll force her to eat this chocolate, though. I don't know why she wouldn't have got up. All right, I guess we won't. So we got three meals out of these out of these bays. I'm all over the place here, right? Um, needs. Okay, we're not going to waste any of that. Anyways, rice. 33. That's three meals. So she eats it raw. We are going to get a better result in terms of how many meals we get out of it. And oh, these things can't be reinstalled. I guess that's okay because the light can. So later on we can put the light over here and make this room bigger around those. Anyway, again, I'm all over the place here. So we need to pay attention to how long it takes this rice to grow this rice to grow. We're already at 33% and she just planted it. So assuming she eats two meals a day, <laughs> if it takes a day and a half for this to grow, then we're golden. Let's see, growing time. Three days, bloody hell. However, we are at 280% growth in here. I'm seeing that down here. So I guess we'll see. And we also don't want to let any of it go to waste. We have, like, no material with which to build anything. All right. Zone. Stockpile zone. We'll have a zone there. Uh, what are you doing? You're eating another meal. I mean, she's going to eat meals, right? And I assume she's going to eat two a day. So let's raw food that. Okay. And now let's see. <laughs> Stockpile zone. And let's put our manufactured, I think it's probably items. 
Where's the bloody component? I think we can manufacture those. So they go under here, yeah. All right, good. So she's already done what we needed her to. Silver. This stuff can go outside. Well, maybe we can build something out of it. Hold on. We should be watching those needs, too. Stuck indoors. Still negative 170. We might not be able to survive the winter here. We might be able to take this apart. Oh, well, we can take this apart and build another heater. But it's so far, it's, I mean, it's not warm in here by any means. And the light must, no? I don't, no, they look to be staying rather equivalent. They both, this one's bigger even. I guess there's air flowing between the two. Anyways, hope, okay, now it's negative 180. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we need, I don't even know if there's any gear that's going to sustain us enough to be outside to do anything. So again, this playthrough might not be possible, but we're going to find out. So we can take this apart if we need to. Hopefully we get, or we can cancel it. I'm going to assume we'll get all of our material back. We could build another heater in here. Active quest. Ship to the stars. Well, we know what that is, but we can go look at it. Cheers to the patrons. Dirtle Dave, Cornel B, JT, Seamus, Michael Rakestraw, Wake Mata, Frederick, Dapper Go, Jalison, Henry Wallace, Alexander, Tyronix, Typhios, Brandon Viking, Blaze, Dr. Ape, Jay Sakane, Shiggy, President Lux, and Thalburn. Okay, so it's like at the total other. <laughs> Holy shit. And you couldn't possibly make it any further away. Look, there's actually an ice path through the middle of this planet. Anyway, that's an interesting... We're not trying to do that anyways. I don't see how we're going to get anywhere at this point. But So I think what I'm going to do... Well, I could make another... Yeah, okay, we were talking about building one of these. But I don't think you can build one of these out of anything else. We could make a different bed out of the silver and reclaim the steel we built the bed out of and that's about our only option right now look at these batteries drain when this light is on and let's see how far the rice has come along so we could harvest it now and this has 38 days all right well i guess i'm just gonna let it cruise the power seems to be fine so i'm gonna disallow this and these And I think our goal is to get another hydroponics basin. Really, our goal is to get a bunch of steel because we're going to need more heaters. I'd like to get trading up, orbital trading. So it'd be nice to keep some of, some of this silver. Again, we need a smaller room somewhere where when there's a solar flare, we can build a fire. Right now, we can move the table out and build a fire here and a fire here, and we should be okay. Our rice is going to die. So we could harvest it, but however, we have to build fires to save ourselves <laughs> before we go and harvest that. Did she already harvest one? Oh yeah, she did. She replanted it already. Let's check the plants. We could also make cotton. But yeah, she's not very good with plants. She's not terrible, but she's certainly not good. She's eating chocolate, which is good. Let's get the rice hauled. All right, we almost have a whole stack, so we have seven meals. There's just no material here. And we, let's see, it's negative 181. Oh my God, but it's kind of the middle of the night, right? All right, well, I'm just gonna let it cruise here. There's not a lot I can do until we get an event or something. It is middle of the night. We're looking at almost 200 degrees <laughs> below zero. <laughs> I got down to negative 194, which is just insane. Triple cold snap might be a bit much. So it looks like this light doesn't generate any heat either. I was hoping it would, but you think it would. No. Anyway. Well, we're just going to research and chill until something goes down here and watch our batteries drain. I should put the chocolate over there. Whatever. And I'm going to watch the temperature. So I'll come back at midday. 
like around 2 p.m. when it's warmest part of the day and show you where it's at right now. So warmest part of the day and it's negative 171. I'm assuming when we get into December, December that it's going to get colder. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but if it is, we could be in some serious trouble here. <laughs> we already are. We can literally just live like this. We should probably get this stuff protected somehow yet, but we don't have any material to do that with. We also need to figure out a way to cook meals here. I was kind of waiting. Oh shit, trapped underground, minus seven. That's extremely problematic. See if she goes outside. See if she dies. <laughs> Look how fast that goes up. And needs. Yeah, we have to take her inside for a minute. We'll just let her warm up and then go back outside. We're going to have to keep doing that until we get rid of this. So every time this goes away, we'll take her outside. I don't think you can force her to play. We can go out there and move wood around or something. All right, and doop, and health. Back to bed. I wish she would recreate while she was out here, but that's not going to happen. Is there anything we can grab? Seriously, no. Not at negative 188. Look at this. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take her outside in the morning and let her play some horseshoes or something anyways that's that we're just gonna be sitting until we get events we're gonna be researching and eating how many meals is she holding on to yet just three does it say how many meals she's gonna eat per day diet forage amount body size life expectancy she has 76 meat she could butcher herself for 42 leather and make some clothes out of it Oh, she has a pretty decent market value. Combat, social, work. Mm, no. A royal favor value. I have no idea. And psychic entropy. Despite the fact that you turn off royalty, you still get these things. So that's interesting. It doesn't say how much she eats in a day. I guess I can just pay attention. Anyways, we're going to let it cruise here and see what happens. All right, well, she's up. She's moving around. That's a really bad idea there. This is why you must forbid everything that's way out there. It's negative 186. She did eat a meal first thing upon waking. All right, so let's see how that did. All right, so now it's gone to... Oh, still trapped indoors. <laughs> Slept in the cold. Yeah. Uh, What just happened? That's extremely problematic. So I didn't babysit the power enough. Let's see if we can harvest the food. Before it dies. You big dummy. Why do you keep trying to go outside? I'm just going to harvest all this. And we'll see what happens after that. We didn't get a lot for it, but... And temperatures have recovered. Ah, she wants to go out there and toss some horseshoes. Look at this mood. <laughs> um, Darkness. I wish... I mean, we could just move the damn thing. Hypothermia is shivering. Needs. Still trapped indoors. No, it's stuck indoors. Oh, God. She's at minor already. Go over there. All right. We're going to forbid this. We're going to... Hopefully, she'll do the planting next. Anyway, she, like I said, she had a meal at 8 a.m. I'm just going to let her do her thing for a while here. Why did the bloody components go back outside? I thought this was for components. Clear all components. Actually, it was for everything other than components. 
I think this is the first time I've ever played this game. There you go. And we got chocolate outside as well. Health, shivering. Eating a meal without a table. She's not going to go into the other room to eat that. Whatever. So we're going to get eight without a table as well. Let's go pick up all this chocolate. Yeah, bring those back in too. <laughs> These things rot faster than most things. We need to wait for our batteries to get... It's kicking pretty good, so we're going to reconnect for a little bit. There you go. Okay, now it's nighttime. So I guess we can just shut it off because it doesn't matter at nighttime. And what did we get? We got nothing. No, absolutely nothing. Yeah, the game's a real... I wouldn't say it's a snoozer because you can't... Like, if you go outside, you die right away. She's She ate two meals today then. One at 8 a.m. and one at 8 p.m. Food is dropping. So, it's yeah, it's two meals a day. So we do need more of these buggers. Okay, I'm going to let this go and I'll be back when or if something really happens here. <laughs> like she's been sleeping and as she's been constantly eating without a fucking table, I think we can move some of this stuff around in here and have her start eating with a table more frequently. So we'll reinstall this one over there. And then we'll get this reinstalled. Right there. And you can go ahead and do that. Now. <laughs> that should prevent... Oh, God. Trapped indoors. We haven't had a mental break yet. And we've been paying close attention. Unsightly environment. Trapped indoors. Eight without a table. What does a silver stool cost? It seems like a waste of silver, right? Two fifty. I'd rather make a bed. Okay, so it turns out, let's pick up all this. Maybe she didn't use it because that was in the way. And let's not go put the chocolate outside. She won't. I want her to put the chocolate down somewhere. Ha! Perfect. And you can put that one down too. All right. You can go outside if you want now. God damn it. <laughs> We're going to do this all bloody day. So I forgot to actually spell their name wrong in the description of the game. I should probably fix that at some point. All right. So this we will forbid. This we will. Oh, what's her needs? Can she just eat the damn stuff already? No. Okay, fine. All right. Now you can go outside if you want. Nope. I was hoping she'd go out and recreate because she's trapped indoors here. She hasn't seen the sunshine since she don't know when. Yeah, there she goes. Pick it back up. That did not help your outdoors issue. So just going out there for that long. Got her well over 5%. Or 7 or 8%. Negative 173. This is the warmest part of the day. I just don't think we can make it to this. I should have left that mod in that had all the gloves and shit. <laughs> I think that's probably why this person is naked because all of her clothing was removed. Ah, she went outside for recreation. You take holy shit, she's already at serious. Now here's an issue because she's under this roof. Trapped outdoors isn't going away. I know that because I was just looking at the source code related to that the other day. So we are going to move this stuff uh, somewhere. I don't think there's a roof here. Okay, good. So as soon as she's better, we'll go out and move that. Jeez Louise. So we weren't really doing ourselves any favors by having that thing there. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, what do you got for gear and food needs here? All right, let's go ahead and eat this chocolate. Well, that'll take... Ah, oh, you dumb, dumb butt. 
Maybe you'll just eat it on your own. Maybe you're sick of it. Well, power's been doing fantastic. I'd like to point that out. Temperatures are holding well. No, don't hold it open. Go over here and work on this. I love that she keeps doing that. Nope. Try again. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to pick these meals up. I don't... Oh, bloody hell. I don't know what we're going to do for... Uh, Hold on, sorry, too much going on. Why won't you go use the table? Is it because there's no chair? All right, draft up, pick the meal up, come in here. Ha, there you go, you just had to force it. <laughs> so we can't afford to have all these little negatives building up on us, I have to stay on top of that awful bedroom. First off, if I saw chocolate in my room, I wouldn't think it was a negative five. I'll tell you that. And in fact, it would be about 10 for beauty. We're going to go put the chocolate in here somewhere. Anyways, now when she goes outside and plays with that, she should be not so bad. I think I already gave a shout out to the patrons. So I think I'm going to sign off for the day. One thing I did want to do, though, since I'm going to call it for the day, I want to go and show you guys the mod list. So I'm gonna go back to our mod screen before I go. All right, this should work. So you can see here's the list of mods I left in. I left in more vanilla biome so that the world map would continue to load and vanilla hair because I like the variety. So that's right where we left off. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please give me a like. I'd very much appreciate it. I know these episodes don't really have a lot going on so I'm probably gonna try and, ooh. Anyway, mm, that was really stupid. We can't ever try to go up there when I'm half ass paying attention and talking to you guys. So, anyways, consider some Patreon support, a buck or two a month. Look at this shit. Pinche cabron, go in here. There you go. I will leave you guys on that. <laughs> I'll see you next time.